Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. For her virtual appearance alongside Prince Harry for their time, 100 Talks Conversation, Meghan kept her outfit sleek yet casual, classic yet glam. Wearing paired down style staples, the Duchess paired a black blazer with a cream-colored blouse and matching slim black trousers. As for her beauty look, she went fresh and dewy, showing off her lustrous wavy tresses and signature natural makeup, including coral cheeks, neutral eye shadow, and a flattering nude lip. If Meghan's hosting outfit looks a bit familiar, it's because it mirrors the ensemble she wore in a recent portrait of her and Harry, taken ahead of today's series of conversations. Captured by photographer Matt Sales, the image showcases Meghan in a chic blazer smiling alongside Harry. The black and white image was the first official portrait taken of the royal couple following their stepping away from royal life earlier this year. For the royal couple's virtual time, 100 Talks episode, titled Engineering a Better World, Meghan and Harry are chatting with high-profile experts, advocates, online creators, and journalists about the pursuit of a more compassionate, safe, and trustworthy digital world. The impressive group of guests includes Reddit co-founder Alexis Ohanian, Rappler CEO and executive editor Maria Ressa, activist and founder of the Loveland Foundation Rachel Cargill, and the hosts of the podcast Teenager Therapy. The couple's perseverance in creating a better and safer digital landscape is expected to be continuously reflected by their non-profit organization, Arcowell's upcoming programming as well. For both of us, when we started dipping our toes into this, it can feel really overwhelming to try to understand all of the nuance of what happens online. Uh, it is all-encompassing and it affects us at a multifaceted level. And so we started with professors and experts in the field with defectors from some of the largest platforms neurologists neurologists people to really help us view it through a holistic approach and and in that there have been relationships and, and now friendships that we've formed with a lot of these people who have a shared goal of wanting to make the space healthier and better for all of us but you know from tristan harris who um, was one of the first people we convened at an event at stanford, at stanford january or february of this year um, and just really so knowledgeable on not just what the problems are online, but trying to find solutions for it, which is important to us. Um, Sophia Noble, who now has become a friend as well. We absolutely love the Sussexes' dedication to their area of interests, and it was truly evident throughout the event. They aren't here talking as if they're experts, and even said they aren't experts themselves during the event. The Sussexes have actively gone out of their way behind the scenes to seek out information regarding social media and the tech field in order to increase their understanding. All the insightful people they selected to participate are those that have spoken to them previously on multiple occasions, such as Tristan Harris the Sussexes first met him at Stanford University back in February, and they've kept in contact ever since. They did a great job hosting both together and independently while we learned from the experts. We're proud of them. Another analysis. Is Meghan Markle sending a bold message through Princess Diana's iconic heirloom? Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, is living a whole new life in California, preparing for new projects and spending lots of quality time with Prince Harry and their son, Archie Harrison. Many have speculated that in the wake of her highly publicized exit from the royal family, she is contemplating entering the entertainment industry again, speculation that has been fueled by her recent work with Disney. Although Meghan has not spoken out in official interviews, she has been sending plenty of subliminal messages via video chats and rare public appearances. One of her most recent virtual appearances featured a cameo from a stunning piece of jewelry, a gold watch that once belonged to Meghan's late mother-in-law. Princess Diana. The Duchess of Sussex's claim to fame came before the royal family. Meghan was born in California in 1981. As a child, she was drawn to the entertainment industry after going to work with her father, who worked as a lighting director for a few popular television shows. 
After her college graduation, Megan decided to pursue a career in acting, and in 2011, she landed a leading role in the TV show Suits. In the summer of 2016, while still pursuing an acting career, Megan met England's Prince Harry and the two started a romance. By late 2017, the two were engaged, and Meghan embarked on a whole new life as a senior member of the royal family. Sadly, her time in the royal ranks was marred by negative tabloid headlines, and in January 2020, Meghan and Prince Harry announced that they would be stepping down as senior royals. Meghan Markle owns a watch that belonged to Princess Diana. These days, Meghan is able to wear more relaxed clothing during public appearances and isn't required to follow a strict dress code. Still, when she wants to step it up, she can choose to wear some stunning jewelry that she has been gifted over the years. Meghan owns several pieces of jewelry that belong to Prince Harry's late mother, the beloved Princess Diana. A few of the pieces in the Duchess of Sussex's collection that were once worn by the People's Princess include a pair of gold stud earrings, a fabulous aquamarine ring, and a gold bracelet. Still, one of the most stunning pieces is a gold Cartier watch that was once given to Princess Diana on her 21st birthday. The watch, which is valued at around $22,000, was originally in Prince William's possession, but he swapped with his brother for Princess Diana's sapphire engagement ring. After holding on to the watch for years, Prince Harry gifted the watch to his bride, Meghan. The Duchess of Sussex has been seen wearing the watch on several occasions in recent years. Most recently, she was seen rocking the fabulous timepiece during her virtual appearance on September 29th for the Fortune's Most Powerful Women Summit. Is Meghan paying tribute to Princess Diana by wearing the watch or sending a message? There's no doubt that Meghan has amazing style and likely appreciates the gold watch on its own merits. Still, there could be another reason why she likes to flash the watch during public appearances. It could be her way of drawing a direct comparison to Princess Diana's life and her own. After all, both she and her late mother-in-law suffered from relentless tabloid attention. Princess Diana retreated from public view after her divorce from Prince Charles, but she still couldn't escape the limelight. Similarly, Meghan has left the royal fold but continues to be a hot topic for fans around the world. Additionally, Meghan has a deep love for philanthropic causes, just as Princess Diana did. There's no doubt that she shares many traits with the late Princess Diana as Prince Harry himself has recognized. In fact, he has directly compared the two on several occasions, proving that although Princess Diana might be gone, her influence will continue to live on through her family. Now that Meghan has stepped away from the royal family, wearing the watch just might be her way of further strengthening the connection between her life trajectory and the one of the late princess. Another report. Here are some of the books on her cabinet that have been identified so far. The Black Godfather, The Clarence Avant Story. There's also a Netflix documentary about it. A follower messaged me explaining the possible connection, and we think it's a good possibility. Wood and Iron, Industrial Interiors by Macarena Abascal, Profiles by Markham, Deary Jewel or A Feminist Manifesto and 15 Suggestions by Chimamanda Nozi Adichie. Megan has probably met Chimamanda before, and we believe this took place at Michelle Obama's book tour stop in London, December 2018. Plus, she was one of the 15 women chosen by Meghan to feature on the cover of her guest edit issue of British Vogue. Women, the National Geographic image collection by the National Geographic. The Sussexes are huge fans of the National Geographic. Remember when Harry took over the National Geographic Instagram during the Sussexes Southern Africa tour to encourage people to look up? Harry encouraged people to send in photos reflecting that concept. And the next day he shared some of the photos he selected on Sussex Royal. A Photographer's Life, 1990-2005 by Annie Leibovitz. A follower sent our a message talking about possible connection regarding the Godfather book. The Black Godfather is about Clarence Avant, music exec and film producer. The brilliant part is he founded music label Sussex Records. And Pharaoh wrote a song about him so I'm thinking he gifted it to Harry and Meghan when he met them at the Lion King premiere. Plus one of Meghan's fave singers is Bill Withers, and he was part of Sussex Records. The doc about Avant came out June 2019, and the Lion King premiere was in July. We're assuming he gifted it to them. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.